Yeah, hello. I would like to welcome you here in my research group. Uh, I'm the head of the Division 1.1 in Organic Trace Analysis at BAM. And I want to briefly introduce you what we are doing in my group, what is our research focus. We are working uh, on environmental analysis and we are investigating potential effects of materials in contact with the environment. So what are we looking for in particular? We are looking for the potential release of elemental species, ions, metal complexes, organic molecules, but also particles and even nanoparticles, as well as their interaction with organisms and cells. And this also brings me to the topic of uh, ecotoxicology assessment. What are our analytical tools that we are using? We are mainly using complementary mass spectrometry and our working horses, or one of our working horses, is ICPMS. Um, but we are also using hyphenated techniques, thus the combination of separation systems in ICPMS. Uh, we are using high-resolution continuum source graphite furnace atomic absorption spectrometry for the topic of non-metal analysis. We are deploying icp tof -MS for single cell and single particle ICPMS. And last but not least, we are using laser ablation icp tof -MS for fast multi-elemental imaging. Thus, the four research topics of my group are non-metal analysis, single cell, single particle icp tof -MS, isotope and speciation analysis, and multi-elemental imaging. Yeah, well, that's uh, the theoretical stuff. Um, now I would like to invite you for a lab tour. Just come with me. Yeah, just follow me in the lab and I'm going to show you what we are doing with high resolution continuum source atomic absorption and non-metal analysis. And I want to introduce you to one of my PhD students, Fabian Simon. Yeah, welcome to our non-metal analysis area. Here we are using mostly spectroscopic methods. And here you can see our atomic absorption spectrometer. But it's a little special instrument because it's consisting out of a continuum light source, which you can see here, and a cross-seated graphite furnace where our samples got injected. We are also using a high resolution spectrometer which is in this part in the instrument. Our analytes using this technique are mostly halogens because these elements are much more sensitive to analyze using this technique compared to ICPMS. Our current research is focused on fluorine. Now we are in our sample preparation lab. You might have asked yourself why fluorine analysis? Yeah, well, we are interested in the organic fluorinated compounds. And these are associated with high persistency and toxic properties in the environment. But the sample not only consists of organic fluorinated compounds, there is also a huge fraction of inorganic fluorine. And to separate inorganic from organic fluorine, we are using solid phase extraction. And this is one set of our samples that needs to be separated for organic fluorinated compounds. So these are now our extracts after solid phase extraction, which contain our organic fluorinated compounds. So let's analyze them. Now we are back at our molecular absorption spectrometer with our sample, which we can now inject into our graphite furnace. We had firstly dried, pyrolyzed and then vaporized. With the addition of gallium, we can form gallium fluoride in the gas phase in the graphite furnace at a temperature of 1500 degrees. And this gallium fluoride has a very specific absorption wavelength, which we can then detect and indirectly calculate the fluoride concentration in our sample. Divided into two areas. We have the gray area and the white area. 
The white area is an area where we have completely metal-free conditions and you can only enter the white area with a special lab coat, overshoes and things like this. The grey area is not that strict, but still strict. You have to change your shoes and wearing a special lab coat. And now we are entering and I'm going to show you what is inside. Yeah, now I want to introduce you in our white area. And I'm handing over to Anela Kaslacic and she will explain you what she's doing in the white area. Hello, welcome to the clean lab of Division 1.1. This is a metal-free clean lab and today we are going to see a sample preparation. Let's go! Okay, now when the samples are ready, I will bring them to Dr. Vogel for performing further measurements. Hello, Dr. Vogel. Ah, hello, Anira. So I brought some samples for our next measurements. Yeah, thank you. Yes, at the moment I will do uh, Tim's measurements, you might know, but uh, then I will do your samples after that. This is our TIMS instrument. It's a thermal ionization mass spectrometer which we use for determining the isotope fingerprints for boron, lead and strontium to determine the provenance of the sample at the end. Yeah, welcome to one of our labs and now I'm introducing you to one of my PhD students, Daria Tokmetova, and she will explain you what she is doing with hyphenated techniques. Here I have some protein sample. So we took from animals, four different animals, and these protein samples are used to analyze, to do meta development for isotopic analysis. We are doing isotopic analysis because we want to understand how isotopes change when we have some abnormal processes in our body. Here I have some serum samples from four different animals but before putting my serum into the instrument i need to do some sample preparation for that i'm taking the serum dilute it into pure water after that the sample is ready to be measured now my samples are ready to be measured with the instrument this instrument is called multi-collector icpms it's used for the measurement of isotopic composition of different elements, especially with low concentration. And today, in my samples, I'm going to measure isotopic composition of sulfur. And now, let me start the measurement. a PhD student of mine, Markus von der Au, and he will show you what he's doing in particular with ICP Tofemes. Currently, I'm working with our ICP Tofemes system. This system has a plasma to ionize metals. For this, the plasma has a temperature of 5 to 6,000 kelvins. And the beneficial part of this system is a TOF analyzer, which is on top of this machine. This analyzer allows to determine the whole periodic table in a really short time duration. This method is really beneficial to use for single cell and single particle ICPMS, as well as laser ablation. For this technique, Jessica Zatz will show you some images and she will explain to you the whole procedure. For sample introduction of sorted samples, we can use laser ablation system. 
Here, a laser beam is focused on the sample within the sample chamber. The ablated sample aerosol is then transported into the ICP TOF MS. Here, the whole mass spectrum is collected for each single laser shot. With this system, we can measure all kinds of solid samples. For example, geological samples, metals, but also environmental samples and biological samples. With the information of the elemental content in each laser shot, we can then reconstruct an image of the elemental distribution within the sample. Therefore, this technique can also be called an element microscope. And now I show you the laser in action. And now I want to show you some results of a completed ablation. So here we can see and compare a microscopic image to the elemental distribution of gadolinium. Gadolinium is a contrast agent and here the red spots are hot spots of gadolinium.